Hey guys, my name is James. And I'm Ashley. And we just sold our house and we are traveling across the country with our two kids. Hi, my name is Goose and this is Maverick in Apollo. Come join us. <laughs> I am kind of freaking out right now. Did you love that tire swing? I'll go on it one more time. <laughs> Say what? I'm gonna go on it one more time. You're silly. We actually just dropped off the trailer and had the shortest drive that we've ever made, I believe, on our trip, on all of our trips. That's the shortest drive, right? I think so. It was only an hour and like 15 minutes, but we, we have made it to Roswell, New Mexico, because we figured, why, why not? not? It was on our way. I never have thought, oh, you know what? I want to go to Roswell. Yeah. Although I am thinking, Joel, if you're watching this, I bet you're jealous. Even though we are still sore throats, we are making the best of it because we might as well. We're spending one night here and then we are going to be headed to Albuquerque. So, while we're here, we figured, why not go see alien museums? <laughs> so that's what we're doing. Well, we looked up things to do in Roswell, and I guess unless you're here for like some sort of event or looking for stuff in the sky, really the alien museum's about it. But I've heard it's a fun afternoon to go and learn some things and get a good laugh if you don't believe it, or feed into your belief if you do believe it. So that's what we're gonna do. And Ms. B, you can guarantee that I'm going to be sending you some pictures because I know you. Is she an alien lover? She is. Oh, she mini. Right, mini. That was an alien encounter. That was fun. We're going to go out to dinner tonight, I think is what we decided. I hope that I, they got to have some sort of like alien cafe or something like that. I want to get as much alien in as we can. By the way, speaking of alien, question of the day, aliens... True, aliens, false. Comment down below. All right guys, we were driving down the freeway and we spotted something off the highway that crash landed in one of the fields. Are you ready? We might have found real proof that UFOs exist. Uh -huh. <laughs> but seriously, for reals guys, we were driving down the freeway, uh, just about to get into town, and they had this giant billboard set up that looks like a UFO as well as like some aliens that you can stop and take pictures with. So, flip to Yui, <laughs> and that's what we're gonna do. And now we have to walk through the field because couldn't get into the parking lot area right there. Well, they have a divider down the middle of the road, so the closest we can get is way back there. Are you ready for some alien encounters of the third kind? What did you go for Coco? What was that? Are you nervous? Oh, there's life on Are you nervous? <laughs> that's awesome. Now that's some good marketing right there. Well done, City of Roswell. Well done. This is a epic marketing campaign because you get people to stop post you on social media so cool do you know who that is right there has she seen that movie i don't think has she even heard of it it's called et it's a movie with a little alien who looks just like that all right should we take a picture
guys, we have made it to the UFO Museum slash Research Center. Apparently, they also do active research here. And I figured what better place to start than in front of my favorite aliens. All right, Goose, you ready to go see some aliens? So, uh, we lived up here in Washington, and that right there in Vancouver, that's where we are. So put right in there. Over lower, down on the beach. Down in the world below you there, right there. Perfect. Yay! Hey, represented. We did it. to find a horse in an alien museum. <laughs> I have no idea how she did that. Oh, penny machine. Can Which one? That one. That one? That mm -hmm. looks like a miles around UFO ship, huh? Yeah. All right. Yeah, sounds good to me. Um, that one, you gotta go all the way around. No. There's a UFO. Pretty cool. I like that one. Does it look like the people from Miles? Oh, it kind of does. Miles, Miles, Miles from tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. So we're not gonna lie, guys. We were a little bit nervous taking Goose here because it's all about aliens, and she's five. But we came up with the idea of saying it's just like watching the show Miles, which is a Disney show, which is a family that travels around and meets aliens and does that kind of stuff. So it's a way of keeping it lighthearted, not too scary. So we found a coin where the spaceship looks like a spaceship from Miles Around. Miles is coming to get you. What do you think of that, Goose? What do you think? Oh, it's taking off. <laughs> Cool or scary? Both. I, I agree. It is a little bit creepy when that one's head just turns and looks at you. <laughs> but Goose freaked out when we were taking that picture. So one of the cool things that I found here is I never really knew the difference between close encounters of the first, second, and third kind. So those that don't know, the first kind is just seeing like the lights in the sky. So you are supposedly within 500 feet of the lights and you just see it. Close encounters of the second kind is when they leave tangible things behind, like crop circles, or it, it affects you, you physically feel it, and so that's the second kind. And then close encounters of the third kind is probably the most popular because of movies such as Steven Spielberg's E.T. and Close Encounters of the Third Kind. And that is when you actually have physical interaction with the aliens. And sorry, Maverick is behind the camera freaking out right now. I love. But I thought that was one of the coolest things about this museum is I never really knew the difference between that. This is hilarious, check this out. They have uh, two different walls, photographic evidence of UFOs, and photographic evidence of IFOs, identified flying objects. Check this out. A hat flying in the air, a model suspended in the air, and then long exposure things of like the moon. But my favorite one by far is hubcap thrown into the air. The thing that I don't know, okay, comment down below and let me know, is there photographic evidence from modern days, since cameras have actually gotten good, and you can actually tell what you're seeing. Are there any modern photographs? Because they don't have any on the wall here. They're all back from like the 40s and 50s. So I'd be interested to know, do you guys have any real pictures of UFOs from modern day? James and I are feeling a little worse. Because we and Maverick passed it on to mommy and daddy. That is true. You punk. <laughs> so, Daddy and I tried to rally. We went to the... 
Yeah, we went to the Alien Museum. Oh. And we were like, okay, do we want to go to dinner? Well, it was like 3.40 at that point. We're like a little early. And we got back to the trailer and sat down. And, and both, we never got back Yeah, up. both of us were just like, oh. Uh. <coughs> so, I'm just not... I'm just not shaking this right now because I've got the sore throat. I can't sleep. I cough all night. And now I have a bald baby head. All right. On I that found note, an alien. Let's go get some dinner. Boom. If so, you were only green, you would look like an alien. Hi, baby. Can you wave? Hi, baby. Can you show them that you can wave? Say hi, baby. <laughs> what? He, he is? About to leave. Already packing, come with me, I'm not really asking We'll get away, to a place where we don't know Good morning guys, we are starting the day off right by pulling over on the side of the freeway I literally have the rig attached and we are pulling over because, what are we doing? We are going to put this rock down somewhere, over there Right there in front of the girl. All right guys, there it is. If you are ever coming to Roswell, it is at the base of this little girl's feet. Good? Well that does it for Roswell here. We are taking off and headed north to Albuquerque. I am kind of freaking out right now. So we were just leaving the town of Roswell. We haven't even left the city limits yet. We were at a stop sign or stopping at a stoplight and then all of a sudden I look back and I just see huge plumes of smoke coming from the rear tires. I freaked out, I had no idea what it was. I didn't know if accidentally the emergency brake got pulled and it locked up the tires. If we blew a tire, I had no idea what's going on. So like in the middle of the road, I stopped and jumped out but then all of a sudden after that initial plume left, that was it, it cleared up. So I pulled over into the nearest parking lot. I've been looking at things. I've had Ashley drive and I like ran next to it to see if I heard anything or felt anything. The brakes are working fine. The emergency brake never got pulled. I have no idea what would cause a plume of smoke to come out of these rear tires. I'm nervous because we have a four hour, three to four hour drive ahead of us and I have no idea if something serious happened or is about to happen or will happen while we're going 70 miles an hour. But I'm not crazy, right? You saw it too? Yeah, I smelled it too. <laughs> but everything looks fine. We, our tire PSA indicator says that everything's fine. There was no alarms, heat or pressure wise. I don't see anything loose that could have gotten like dangled or pulled. If you guys have any idea what it might have been, I know it'll be too late to tell us, but comment down below so that way if it's something we should know about, we can look into it. <laughs> Should we just go for it and see what happens? I don't really know what else to do. Yeah, we're like in a parking lot, but... But we haven't even started our drive and I'm already nervous. All right. Let's go to Albuquerque. Can you clap? Clap, 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 clap. Clap, 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 clap. Good job, that's right. Me clap can you, now. Can you, can you wave? Bye-bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Can you say bye bye? Say bye bye. That is Daddy P. Because apparently he has no shame. Uh -huh. 